Hello and Assalamu alaikum. This is continuation of lecture number 16 and in this type, uh, part of the lecture I will uh, discuss about thin film uh, solar cell or thin film cells. Uh, the thin film, uh, film uh, solar cell is a type of uh, device that is basically designed to convert uh, light energy into electrical energy through the photovoltaic effect and is composed of uh, micron thick uh, photon absorbing material layers uh, which are basically uh, deposited over uh, flexible substrate. Thin film uh, uh, solar cells were originally uh, produced in 1970s uh, by researchers at Institute of Energy Conversion at the University of Delaware in the United States. The technology continuously improved so that uh, in the early 21st century the global thin film photovoltaic mar market was uh, growing at an uh, exponential rate and uh, was forecasted to uh, continue to grow. Several uh, types of uh, solar thin films uh, uh, have been uh, developed and I will uh, discuss them uh, briefly. The thin film material uh, is uh, basically uh, deposited on glass or plastic or stainless steel, ceramic or other compatible uh, substrate which uh, is flexible in nature. Copper indium diesel night T selenide, cadmium telluride, and gallium arsenide are a uh, few uh, types of uh, thin film cell structures. Layers of different materials uh, are applied uh, uh, sequentially uh, to the substrate material. Uh, the major advantage of uh, this type of technology is that uh, it is uh, it uses much less material uh, per square area as compared to other technologies therefore it is less uh, expensive per watt of the power produced the cadmium te more, uh, is the uh, cadmium telluride is uh, basically most profit, uh, promising uh, among all of the other defined uh, thin films structures it has low cost uh, per, pow uh, per power generated and laboratory tested for maximum conversion efficiency of uh, 18%. So let us uh, discuss briefly about uh, the cadmium uh, telluride thin film solar structures. These are most common type of uh, uh, available thin film structures. Uh, because uh, they are less expensive uh, than uh, the more uh, standard silicon thin film cells. Cadmium telluride thin films have a uh, new in 2020 it has been recorded that uh, after improvements uh, its recorded efficiency has increased from 18% to 22.1%. Uh, the percentage of Photons hitting uh, the surface of the cell are transformed into electrical energy. So basically, this efficiency is regulated from that process. By 2014, cadmium telluride thin film uh, technology has uh, the smallest carbon footprint and the quickest payback time of any thin film uh, solar cell technology that was uh, available in the market. Uh, payback time uh, is uh, the time being the time it takes uh, for the solar panels electricity generation to uh, basically cover the cost of uh, the purchase and the installation process. The second one is the uh, gallium, uh, gallium arsenide and gallium uh, and uh, another form is uh, indium gallium, uh, gallium uh, selenide. Is another type of semiconductor uh, that is used uh, to manufacture thin film uh, solar cell uh, that is known as CIGS uh, copper indium 
gallium cyanide, selenide, uh, thin film. Solar cell has uh, reached an efficiency of 21.7% uh, in laboratory settings and 18.7% efficiency in the field testing. So this uh, makes the CIGS or the copper indium uh, gallium uh, selenide a leader among the alternative uh, cell materials and promising semiconductor materials in the thin film uh, technology. The CIGS uh, cells uh, traditionally have been more costly than any other types of solar cell in the market and for that reason they are, they are not uh, widely used. The other one is uh, the uh, uh, gallium arsenide. Uh, the gallium arsenide thin film solar structures have uh, uh, reached uh, efficiency of about uh, 30 percent in uh, lab environments but as they are uh, very expensive to manufacture cost has been a major factor in limiting uh, the market for the gallium arsenide solar cells. The main use has been uh, in spacecrafts and satellites.